and guess. Do you know what really gets my goat? I am sick and tired of all the hoopla around football in schools. What is so special about football? Homecoming, football, big donors and newspaper stories, football. How hard would it be to get everybody, friends, family, reporters out to cheer for the chess matches, <laughs> the science olympiad, or dare I say it, the scribble club. <laughs> Let's face it, the nerds and the artsy fartsy students are getting the short end of the stick. Well, I do realize there have been some improvements in recent years. Did you know that the National Spelling Bee has coverage on, wait for it, E S P N. Well, that was another great performance by Adrian Peterson last night. We'll shift gears and take a look at the Gillette Close Shave Play of the Week. <laughs> Sphygmomanometer. <laughs> S P H Y. Why? That kid could go all the way! <laughs> Today, let's consider how easily we could get everyone to feel part of the in crowd in schools. What would that look like? First, well, how would we go about doing that and getting everybody involved? Second, what are the rewards for doing so? And third, Let's not kid ourselves, there are risks to this approach, and I'll talk about them, too. Oh God. <laughs> now, the key to promoting all of our student activities is in public relations and alumni connections. Pop quiz! When was the last time your student council president called you, the alumni, and invited you back to a meeting? Never. Mm. Have you ever opened your local newspaper and seen the calendar for the school's debate competition? Not once. Is there a poster for the student art exhibit in the grocery store window? See what I mean? Mm. So, we need to get out and get our community engaged and cheering for the scores on our school's standardized tests and establish an aura of importance around the audiovisual club. Hmm. <laughs> Picture this. It's Friday night. The high school parking lot is filled to capacity with cars. There's a bonfire blazing out in the field. A gaggle of giggling girls <laughs> jumps out of a car hmm. with their spiffy new uniforms that they made in home economics. <laughs> their classmates with a certain je ne sais quoi flair show up with foods from around the world to celebrate the foreign language club. Foods like french fries and Belgian waffles, right? <laughs> the class, the crowd cheers as the cross country team runs laps, cheer, cheer, wah, around the, the field. It is a great night. The possibilities are endless, and the rewards are many. Everyone can be a star, not just the starting quarterback. That boy with the greasy hair and the pimply face and the Coke bottle glasses. You know, Ralph from the Scrabble Club. Is it that hard to imagine him coming to the prom with the homecoming queen on his arm? Oh, wait, no. How about the home economics queen? <laughs> right? It, it could happen. And what parent? isn't proud of his child's A in English, so let's go out and raise money for the annual poetry reading. Can't you just hear the crowd cheer as the champion addresses the crowd? There once was a girl from Nantucket. Go Nantucket, you go girl! And the money would just roll in, right? The local accountants could sponsor the math team. While pet boys could sponsor auto shop. Heck, even the state penitentiary could sponsor after-school detention. <laughs> okay, okay, maybe not that last one, but, you know, there's all these school budget cuts, right? We need to get out and tap into our local advertisers and fill that gap. But let's not stick our heads in the sand and think that we can do this without any risks. I, I mean, if you look at college football, right, you see the alumni and the donors and the recruiters, they're out enticing players with fancy cars and nice meals. 
Well, just imagine what would happen if Radio Shack tried to entice our robotics club <laughs> with microchips and flash drives. And what about the Heisman Trophy winner, the one who was suspended for selling his autographs? Well, imagine the shockwaves that would reverberate over the fruited plains if our National History Day winners were busted trying to hawk, wait for it, they're John Hancock's? <laughs> yeah, you got it. <laughs> Gambling is also a risk, right? In football, the wagering has gotten really bad, out of hand. Last year in the Super Bowl, did you know that they were taking bets on the number of times that announcers would mention the parents of the Harborough brothers? It's crazy, right? So we need to guard against that kind of activity in our, in our behavior. And just imagine, right? The over-under betting in the yearbook club for the number of seniors who would not show up for their portraits. It would be a travesty. Fellow Toastmasters, there you have it. We could take a page from the same old playbook, but we can make a difference and make a change. Let's get out and have fair play in all of our schools. Don't just support the football team, but support all teams. But don't forget that we need to be conscious of the money behind the game because if you're not careful, before you know it, there is going to be a Vegas line on the over-under counts for our counts in our next Toastmasters meeting. <laughs>